Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to be improving this, trying to see how we can make it better by using some of the principles of designs and then putting them together to see how we can come up with something very simple or something as simple as possible, but also conveying the message very powerful and some powerfully. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. So I have gotten my color palette. Um, you could get your own color palette. It's, I've um, done this in previous videos. I think I've done it more than three times also. So you could check out the previous videos to see how you could probably use and create your own color palette. You could search for how to use pigments, shape factory, or sites like that to create your own color palette using the blending tool. So I have that already. You could just check it and you see it on the, um, the videos. So without wasting time, let's get going to it. So I have the color palette here. I also have an image that I think will be more will be more representing when it comes to the message you're trying to convey. So let's start by drawing our shape. I want the the background or the solid shape, the white solid shape. But then I want to see how I can play with other shapes like um circles as yes, ellipse but with this color in mind so i'll be using my color picker tool to give this this color in mind and then then we'll see how we can just do it. so i'll have this here i'll also see how i can also draw a custom shape using my curvature tool so custom shapes like this two will work this one too will work we could scale it down and keep it here and this also then we we'll also have like rectangles but we just this is we could keep this by the side then we'll also walk our way up we'll see how we can um, bring this so let me just start with this first i yeah i want to make it look like it has a flare like where the edges are kind of like blowing or washing out you understand so not all solid shapes but the edges to be like washed out of stuff nice so i'll be making use of the mesh tool so i will come to these edges and i will click on that so automatically creates um a, a connection from one point anchor point to another anchor point so i'll use this anchor point and i would like to reduce your past solar anchor to zero and also if I click here, reduce the anchor to zero and here, which is it to zero. So that's how we just do for the anchor points that we do have. But now if you see, uh, because there's no anchor point at the middle here, so there's nowhere it concentrates most of those. Um, so we need to add something here. So in this case, we'll, this anchor point is already zero. So this anchor point will be zero too. So now where you see the main color is solid, this is on this anchor point, which is actually 100. So even we drop a um, mistake, even we drop this to about zero, still make this. So it gives it a flare. So I, I think now you get the concept of what I'm trying to do. Um, so zero there to, we also reduce this to zero and then reduce this to so i think we have all the anchor points targeted or all the target anchor points um i've touched all the anchor points i think yeah so everything at the edges is zero 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 okay that's good uh let me check here please also zero two good so we'll do more of these shapes more of them if you want, you could adjust it using your direct selection tool or something like that. In direct selection tool, or you can also still use the mesh tool when you click and you can drag and you adjust it the way you want it to be. So you could just more concentration there and sharp edges, combinations like that. So this is one of it. We'll be doing like three or so. So I will try and speed it up on this path. And so you guys will just follow through or you just repeat what uh, I did in the first one. So, okay. 
Okay, so I think we're done with the whole um, masking. So the rest, we'll just try and duplicate it. So um, some of you might be watching and wondering why I'm not using the gradient because the public gradient could do the same thing. Let me just show you what the gradient, the problems public gradient will give us. Um, so let's add this guy to the swatches. Let's add it to swatch. Um, then that's the, so that's why we need to expand. And then um, just trust it like that. Okay, so now let's try and use gradient and see in this case. So let's say we go and use the radar gradient, or oh, sorry, the radar gradient here, and uh, we decide that we want to make this part the center and also make this part. Let's just choose from our swatches that we do have. Uh, let's make this star and we decide to make this a hundred percent less in this case so now if you see what the gradient will do here is it will not make it smooth it will just make it cut from here so even you try to reduce it inside it doesn't give you that um, let me show you what i mean by that it doesn't give you like um the shape for having that the the um, the fading out so then like the fading out doesn't apply to like the whole edge of it it just only applies to the radar so if you try to say you want to um turn it into something different but it still will be a radar because it's in an ellipse form so you can actually tweak it but with this using the mesh you could tweak it to any shape you want to um probably any irregular shape you want to want it to be you understand so that's how um that's basically the benefit of using the mesh tool so so that's just it let's take this one off and let's see what we want to turn this into so we will be making some duplicates of some of them and uh, i think just seeing how we could show one or two so make make some of them smaller some of them will turn them inside out some of them just like that so we tweak it and see and find something that basically works for you so i think this can be here and this and this and that good so some of them we can add blur to it in case we don't want it to be too pronounced like i think this ones are more pronounced so let's use gaussian blur we could bump it up to 30 and okay and we can also do the same so uh, if you get you actually get the idea of, of what i'm saying i like using each sb no, just bring it down so it's not too it's not pure white so it's more into the green like that so now we bring this guy to the top here and then we draw we scale it up let's do scale it up a bit more um, we could drop it down a little bit good so let's take it off i just want to get the shape of what i want to do so in this case, let's use the normal regular, the normal rectangular tool. Make it into a bigger. Let's keep it there. And um, I want to do a duplicate of it. I want to just do something. I did this yesterday. It was, it was something new I tried, but I want to actually show you how I did it. So uh, we'll make a duplicate, right? This is just a shape here. So Ctrl C. Or you could go into edit, you go Ctrl C, which is copy. Let's copy here. And then we'll go Ctrl Shift P and um, Ctrl F, sorry, which is placed in front. So now we have two of the shape placed in front. So what we'll do here is we'll scale in these corners, make it bent, then we'll come to um what's it called? Effects, then we'll go to Gaussian Blur. Then we see if we can bump the blur up. And there is this blur it gives. Let me take it down and bring it here. Let's take it outside so it becomes more visible. So now you see that 40 is actually much. Now you can reduce the 40 to something like, um, yeah. So you could use it to that. And in case it's not enough, probably it's not pop, it's not like, that soft you could come into stylize and make it an outer glow change the outer glow to something white 
but not too, too white then increase the blur to about 20 and then uh, let's see how it is yeah good so if you notice is a curve here we could scale it up out and see how it looks good this is what i wanted to do so let the two of them bring here in front let's bring our image in here and uh, okay so what i'm saying so what we do now what we do next instead make sure they are grouped take this to the top here let's change the background mm. i think it's too green and yeah, what is making this not too white i want to make it too i want to make it very white but i think we can maybe reduce the brightness of this okay good good it's coming out well i don't want to be too green good i like this so we can tweak this one and see what we can get from here let's try and add shapes uh i made a mistake so the mistake is i shouldn't have applied all those effects to the other ones we can just have this copy it so let's just copy that and paste so we do our edit first on it i want to make it look like more so let's see what is it saying here african vibes digital tribe uh mr graphics oh, ms graphics so let's see let's just make it like more of um more something like um like a code or no not code but let's just see how can tweak this i don't want it to just be plain rectangular shape let's try and do something with it so let's see shoulders will be around here but we want to just make it we'll probably extrude to this place and see what we can do so we'll go into our pen tool at the point here and then we'll come to our diet selection tool also I'll go back to the pen tool so we add another point close to it we we'll go back to the diet selection tool bring this down you also add another point here use the direct selection tool and bring it down also if you click on that side call it click here to you call it good now so let's do what we did here here ctrl c ctrl f we'll come into here let's go with star lights first out the glow remember the figures 75 percent Capacity, ensure it's still on screen then make it blur and okay then we we'll come to the effects we we'll go to blur to the Gaussian blur and you can increase it to 20 if you want to then now we'll turn this to the back but now if you check something here and probably want to edit up any of those effects it's going to show this here so for you to be able to use or edit any of the shape you need to go to the appearance panel in case you don't see the appearance panel you go to windows and you see appearance here and then you go so you can edit any of them individually the gaussian blur or the outer glow good so i think it's at the back yes it's at the back so we can also scale this down inside a little bit so it makes the pronouns more pronounced so we'll group them together um let's make it duplicate so let's delete this one make a duplicate of this like so and in case probably you want to cut this part but i think you, there's no need for it you could um, just probably draw a shape like this and sure it's curved like that remember to remove the fill please can't do that and select the shape then use the shape builder tool and uh, you can subtract this part so you have that curve there just click and drag hold on your alt and ensure you're holding on alt and you click and drag so but in that case we do not want this let's just continue what we have so bring this guy to the front uh in case you want to um, take this down nope not too down like that now we can have this duplicate send it to the front so 
it adds a little bit of flair to it so let's delete this one take it up and um you too we can bring it up rotate you mm, yeah so it's making sense it's making more sense so let's see african tribes vibe sorry digital tribes so i want africa to be i do not want to respect the english language so let's use satoshi as we've been using for quite some time now let's pump it up and see let's choose one of those colors we have if it's not adding up for us then we can go with the darker shade of it so let's come here swatches and you dark so let's see african vibes reduce the space between them hold on the alt key and use the up button uh it's too much it's too much it's too much good let's reduce it I think it's okay, I guess. Then we can have our digital tribe. So we say digital tribe. I think it has that. So we use it to this and then make it regular. I think that six is much better. Then we have the rest of the many contents there those ones will be like probably make them black also but not entirely black grey so we see where every um, design tells a story um, embrace the rhythm um, sorry Okay, that's it. Museum of Africa, African vibe. In every design. At. Okay, I think that's his name. So probably we just do something different. Mr. Graphics. Or oh, Mr. Graphics, just Mr. Graphics. Who's top? Then let's give space. I will adjust those later. We turn pixels into stories that dances. That dances. So, that. so we make that auto and we reduce it to 21. And then zoom in in case it's. Uh, we can now adjust it embrace the rhythm of the african vibes in every design at mr graphics then we turn pixels into stories that dance so i like this and um take it up, up a little bit mm -hmm. so here too also you can do the same thing we did here uh, we we'll use the mesh tool. Let's zoom in into bit. Good. So bring it to the top. I allow it dance. I think allow it dance. Good, good. So we also want to see apply this effect here, but want to apply it with the green color so it has like maybe on the person's name on it. So like probably maybe Mr. Resigns or something like that. So let's also just do that quickly because we're already running out of time. Don't didn't expect it to be that long. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, 
there and the first thing we do is stylize ah okay. uh, there we could also make it into the green and then um, that's it so say okay and uh, remember there are two different ones then you could add blur to it blur gaussian blur and okay and yeah, you send it to the back you group them together you select the two of them group them together and we can bring it here so in case the color is not adding up for you you can click on that change the color to something bright better send that to the back the one in front now we will change that to this color also then you send it back to send it back um that way so we have mr redesigns uh, white satoshi bold skin up that come here and here could create our own probably a human shape you know, like a head there have a duplicate of it scale up so so it's not looking like that then what do you do you splice it into half that that come shape you that too and you click and uh, i think we have something like that Good. group them together and we have a mister and out there good i think it's too big let's make it 30 and let's scale it down So there was one time in the design industry where everyone was making use of lights then like in all their designs basically every design you see you see lights in it so let me just show you how i can do it i've shown you before but i also want to just do it here so let's just do sharply one light before we go so i did 27 minutes and spent on it so we will use a bright color here but we'll be using our gradient not this one so this one paired with let me just okay let's go down good so we already have an initial light like this good that is good light let's duplicate that and use our rough and need to have depth need to be much if you want it to be smooth that it will also do and um depends on what you want to do with that so you can combine the two like this so it has the center which is like the focal point and um, which is like where the light source of the light is coming from then you have the ray of the light and then you have like like spreading of it so you can group them together let's duplicate this part and uh, i think there's something let's ungroup uh, remember it's gradient so the center of it should be more brighter yeah that that would do same thing here but not too much though then now uh, we can put them side by side each other and group them bring them to the front and bring them to the side here then i would like to use a blend i like to use soft light most times soft light and overlay and see which one works better in case they are too much you can reduce the opacity them uh, let's see here that is one here yeah, also that is one number one At night, too much overlay. Yeah. To African vibes and so. Good. So let's have a comparison. I do not know if it sits well, but let's see. Ah, uh, that is good. That's very good. 
good so now let's see this is the before and this is the after tell me what you think if it's an improvement or if it's trash i will see you in the next one thank you guys for watching and have a lovely day ahead